Hey there, today I'm gonna show you how to design things around you. For now, guess what? I'm going to design this 15 cm scale. You're probably using this, right? Some may use their IDs and even pens to draw lines. Even I did that. Anyway, before proceeding, I'm gonna show you the learning objectives that you'll find by the end of this video. I suggest you to note down all these. How to switch into 3D modeling. How to use view cube. How to use press pull. Last but not least, using fillet edge. By the way, welcome back to Rocks AutoCAD. Okay, let's design 15 cm scale. Once note down these dimensions of the scale, it has 15 cm of line and 2.5 cm of width. First, we will try this face and then we will extrude it. Actually, it's not 15 cm, a little more about it, but don't worry, we will take it as 15 cm. Every time you start up AutoCAD, you have to do two things one is setting units and limits. I have explained units and limits. Check out the link in the description or from the suggestion. For now, type in UN and then select position as 0.0, .0 and then units to be millimeters. Click on OK and then set the limits so that our drawing fits within the drawing area only. Type in LIM, hit enter. It asks you to space lower left corner. By default, it's 0, 0,0. Give the upper right corner to be 20, 20. Your limits are set but not confined yet. For that, type in Z. Z for zoom, hit enter and A for all, hit enter. I am extending a little bit this command bar so that I can clearly see what happening. Firstly, we are going to draw this phase. The length of the phase is 2.5 cm, that is 25 mm. Type in L, hit enter, select a point. I am working on only vertical and horizontal lines. For that, I will choose ortho or even you can press f8 the length is 25 this small width here is 1 mm and i just want this cross line 5 mm from the right and 3 mm height type in l select this type in 5 as length height about 3 and select this point erase these two click on delete mirror these two lines select it and the second one type in mi mi for mirror hit enter it asks you to specify the mirror line set the midpoint over the mouse to set a mirror click on no and now we have to specify this arc the height of the arc from the base is 1 mm i am taking a 1 mm line from the base and then click on arc that is three point specify first point and then second point and then third point that's it. Erase this line. You are done. So this is our true drawing. Let's switch to 3D workspace. For that, you can switch from here by selecting the drop down which is next to settings and choosing 3D modeling. Or even you can select from the quick access toolbar 3D modeling. If you haven't found this, choose the drop down which is next to quick access toolbar and then enable workspace that you can access it. Select 3D modeling. I just want to extrude it. I'm going with Southwest Isometric. Click on the left bottom corner of View Cube. Select an option here. Press Pull. Select the area inside the geometry over the mouse and then give the length about 150. This is how it look like. To change orientation of this object, hold scroll button and shift and hover the mouse in 2D wireframe. I just want to see it as realistic. For that, hover the mouse to visual style controls and then select realistic. Your object seems somewhat real now, right? It's almost finished, but not fully defined. Observe these edges. Too sharp, right? Observe our object to be needed. So that we have to remove these sharp edges. For that, we have a fillet option. You can type F or even you can select it from the solid and then select fillet. I just want these edges about a radius of 2 mm hit enter and then hit enter and again select fillet to remove these sharp edges and give the radius value to 1 hit enter and then we have to create one more fillet for this edge as well as for the bottom one select fillet and give the radius value to 0 0.5 hit enter select the edges that you want to fillet Select end to end. 
zoom in further if you can't see properly and then hit enter your object is finished now let's delete this 2d drafting for deleting the 2d draft select all and then hold shift and then select the object so that only 2d draft is selected and press delete that's it this is how your 15 cm scale look like exactly